This is OBS Studio. It's recording what I'm doing. I created four scenes. Windows Desktop, Wave State Editor, Novation Editor, Audacity. If I'm here inside OBS software and I click on this scene, Audacity, that is what you see. If I click on this Novation Components, that is what you see. If I click on Wave State Editor, that is what you see. This one, the Windows Desktop, is Display Capture, the whole screen. These other three are Window Captures, not the Desktop, the Application Window. You can create hotkeys in OBS to trigger these scene changes, but you're touching a computer keyboard. I'm pressing a button on my Novation keyboard to display Audacity. I'm pressing a button to display the template that made this possible. I'm pressing a button to show wave state. I'm back in the desktop. Back on this Novation template, I pushed the button on the keyboard. I pressed the button in the bottom row that says Novation. In the upper left is a record button. That button on my MIDI keyboard started this OBS recording. It will end this recording. The four buttons switching between these scenes are in the bottom row here. Let's take a look at Novation Components, the Template Editor. I'm in the Template Editor, Get Template. It loaded this from the keyboard just now. We have definitions for rotary dials, faders, buttons, pads, wheels, pedals, keys. Back to buttons. Record. I set up a CC code, MIDI CC, code 90. I picked toggle type button. Toggle on push, the on value 127, the off value 0. On the other end, in OBS, I'm listening for code 90. I'm listening for these two values, 127 and 0. I have a record pause resume button. It's set up the same way. I have these four display scenes. Windows Desktop, 92. Wave State, 93. Novation, 94. Audacity, 95. These are triggers. Trigger on push, just send the code zero. On the other end, I'm just looking for this code value zero. Once I'm done, I send to the keyboard. This end is done. If you don't know what an audio interface is, you're in the wrong place. If you don't know what MIDI is, I'm not going to tell you what MIDI is. We're in OBS. I'm setting up MIDI. You'll find videos telling you to use OBS MIDI, an alpha version. That version is from March 2020. It doesn't work anymore. This is under tools, OBS MIDI MG. OBS MIDI MG, not OBS MIDI, the alpha version. I click here, I've got these bindings. Here's my keyboard. It says I'm connected. 
I can check my device capabilities. Looks good. Here it is here, bindings. I created these. Start recording. MIDI channel 2. This is a control change. From this keyboard, control change, MIDI channel 2, MIDI CC code 90, 127, recording, start recording. These are OBS functions. It's mind-blowing what you can do in here. Stop recording. It's the same thing, code 0 instead of 127. For Windows Desktop, code 92. We're looking for code 0. Here, we're doing scene switch, switch scene, Windows Desktop. These are my scenes here. This Windows Desktop is a display capture Windows desktop. Wave state. This is the button on my keyboard. Code 93, value 0, switch scene, wave state editor. It's down here. It's a window capture. And these just follow the pattern. Different CC, 94, Novation components. A window capture, Audacity, Code 95. It took me maybe an hour to figure this out with no instructions whatsoever. This is working. This is working real nice. Now, I close this. I go to Components, and there is the template that I created on the other end of this communication. This is OBS Studio. It's recording what I'm doing. I created four scenes. Windows Desktop, WaveState Editor, Novation Editor, Audacity.